What's up guys, Kevin here, back again with another video. Um, I have a relatively quick video today talking about the new Jam 990, 991, oh my gosh, I almost said 990v1, which in my opinion, I think it would be cool, but it's all another video, I guess. Um, this just released maybe a week ago or so. Um, I'll put the date up somewhere here. Um, I was away on a trip, so I couldn't immediately upload the video, but I got this on Jown's website, uh, which I believe was 250 plus shipping plus tax. So luckily Jown did not um, add on any extra surcharge or anything like that for this release, which is nice to see. Uh, so unfortunately I got this not in my size, but also kind of in my size. I'll talk about that later, but I got this in a US 7. Let me see if you guys can see that. US 7 not M991JJA. Uh, so this is the brown color. So first, let me back up. The 991 is one of the few New Balance models that are made in the UK in their factory in Flimby, uh, which is a really small um, like sort of town. And then like New Balance has been very dedicated in making stuff in the UK, as well as I believe in the US and Massachusetts, if I remember correctly believe I'll correct myself in post afterwards if I am wrong but this is their first made in UK pair their previous pairs almost all of them were made in the US so that includes all the 990 v3s the 992s um, now this is their first made in the UK model so quick opening here's the shoe we'll talk about it in a second it's pretty simple you don't get much in the box except for just light co-branding as well as a thicker poly lace, which this is very similar to the 992 lace texture. If you guys have had it, if you guys have had, uh, if you guys have had those, um, it's like that sort of thick woven material. Now, what I really like about these is that the laces on these are really, really good. So I will pick I guess the left shoe for details. Now here is the shoe. It's a very, very nice shoe. Initially, again, like I said, I'm not a big fan of the 991. I wasn't a big fan of the um, the ALD 991s and just the general colorway 991s. And to be honest, when I first saw this, uh, I wasn't a huge fan either. But one of the big things, I know this is really stupid, but I really liked the cream lace that they chose. It's a very like, tightly woven cotton lace. I really, really, really like these types of laces, but so again, the upper, it's all of this brown sort of suede. Very, very nice. That's that's uh, like one of the big things that I've noticed. I've had both the 992s as well as uh, like one of the 990 V3s and all of those, the suede was okay, it was nice, but in my opinion, I think compared to all of them, I think this has the nicest texture it's very plush it's very soft you know the nap is decent it's not super long haired but it's also not super short either where you can still see some color change and yeah it's it's honestly very very phenomenal um i would rank this like number one in terms of like suede quality now in terms of the model again very very neutral very very uh uniform in terms of tone we have some darker brown tones here some lighter brown tones here. There's some minor, minor glue, but there's nothing too bad. Slight off-white, uh, like yellowing in this back cushion portion. This also has absorb. Uh, and in the back, it has that jound printed, which the 992s also had. Um, now, the thing is, is that I feel like these ones are pretty, pretty even, I would say. My biggest complaint about some of the 992s is that I've had like three or four pairs and the jound is like almost always like really off to the center, off to the right, up top, down. Like it just isn't like nicely centered. This is pretty close, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and here's some 3M detailing. It's the top, there's a lot of 3M on this cause there's 3M on the back tab, this tongue, 3M on the N, as well as this very top. 
Now, I'm not a big fan of the 3M. I do wish that maybe it just wasn't there or maybe it was in a white embroidery just so that it would kind of blend in, but I'm fine with the black as well. And here it is, John Products. Again, made in England since 1982. Continued, uh, committed to UK manufacturing since 1982. There's this. Now, there are some like minor, like loose strings. Not a huge big deal, but that is something to look out for. So there will be occasional loose strings. Again, the traction pattern, pretty nice. This is a very dense um, rubber, very good traction. Uh, I haven't really worn these out. And like I said, I got this in a size seven. So if you guys know my channel or some other footwear reviews that I've done. Um, I'm typically an eight to an eight and a half, depends on the shoe. This I got in a size seven. So um, as soon as I got in, it was, yeah. So basically the Q knocked me out for my true to size as well as my size up. Um, sucks, you know, like John sells out pretty quickly and it's pretty impossible to win on the raffles or the New Balance website. Uh, so it was always disappointing, but I also do think that maybe this was a blessing in disguise because the size seven, it fits actually not too bad. It So my right foot is a little bit, is wider than my left foot. Um, and my right foot, it's slightly snug on my right foot, um, but not terrible. Um, I've put in like wooden shoe trees in the shoe uh, to sort of kind of let it breathe, stretch out a little bit. Cause sometimes with these sort of shoes, it does stretch out now straight out of the box. I do wish that I had a seven and a half or a size eight, um, but you know, stuff happens with retail. Sometimes you can't always get your size. Um, and again, I've also taken out the insoles and kind of walked around with them and without the insoles, shoes are just as comfortable. Uh, so I'm sort of willing to make that sort of odd sacrifice. Uh, oh, something I forgot to mention again, just like your classic, other Jones, John with perforation. I think they had it in the 990v3 as well. Um, but yeah, again, phenomenal shoe. I personally would not pay whatever the 992s are going for right now. I think it's kind of ridiculous that they're going for like 700, 800 plus, a thousand in some sizes. Um, I the 992s are okay. They're not that comfortable. The 991s are about the same level as comfort, maybe slightly more comfort in the heel, but I personally don't really like the 992s for comfort or anything like that. Um, I like the 990 V3s, the V3s are very comfortable, but the 992s kind of mid. 991s also sort of mid, also a retro running sneaker, but at least with the 991, I feel like I'm getting a bit more, more I guess, quality in terms of like plushness of the suede um, as well as I sort of feel like the build quality and the stitching is a little bit better again like I said there are some loose stitching but it's a mass-produced product I can't hold every single person accountable to like snip off all that stuff but yeah if I had to choose any I would get the 991 over the 992 and then probably the next one that I'll get is the 990 v3 in the green I think those guys are much better bang for the buck than like the 992 series. Um, but yeah, uh, like let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the Jown 991. I know that Jown almost always, they're pretty uh, like minimal in terms of whatever design that they decide to do. Like with this one, I'm glad that they went with a nicer lace option. I'm also glad that they went with slightly off-white sole. Um, the back branding doesn't really do much for me. Uh, I. I just think this is a pretty basic norm core type of shoe, but it's great for people who want to wear it every day. And I really hate that people use John to flex, but it's okay. You know, I'm gonna I'm let them make their money. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'll do a quick on foot and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.